What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Quick Stop Photoshop. It's been a little while, I think like two or three weeks. I apologize, life happens and stuff. But today's video is gonna be a really good reference video. We're gonna talk about luminosity masks. I'm not gonna get super in depth of with luminosity masks because there are tons of awesome videos on YouTube already. Uh, check out people like Greg Benz and Jimmy McIntyre. They have a lot of good videos. A lot of good content covering luminosity masks, different ways to use them, and, and the power of targeted editing. Luminosity masks are the backbone for that. We're gonna talk about how to make luminosity masks in Photoshop, both manually, which can get cumbersome, and then I'm gonna talk about a free plugin and a paid plugin, and there's others too that make luminosity masks for you, and it speeds up the process really quick when we use them a lot. So the purpose of this video is to introduce luminosity masks so that in further, further down the road in other videos, I can call back to this one when we use luminosity masks, which we do a lot. All right, guys, let's jump in to the photograph. We've got another photograph from Iceland. Get used to it. I like Iceland. It's a great place and it makes for a beautiful photograph for the videos. It's got a lot of dynamic range in this one because we're shooting right into the sun here and we've got some nice shadows too. So the luminosity masks will really be punchy on this one. So why are we going to use, why, why do we use luminosity masks? Luminosity masks allow us to target specific areas in the photograph based on the lightness or the darkness or the luminosity. We might wanna do this to do some exposure blends in the sky, target just the highlights that are blown out and then blend in the exposure that's not blown out. Maybe we wanna recover some shadows, so we just wanna target the shaded areas. Maybe we wanna do some dodge and burning on the mid-tones, so we want a mid-tones luminosity mask. So it helps us with targeted editing. That's kind of the broad picture. So let's start by making some manually. All right guys, so to start with a manual luminosity mask, if you don't have any plugins, this is how we're gonna do it. After I show you this, you'll see why plugins are definitely worth the money and definitely worth the time to download. But there are some free ones. We're gonna go over to channels here. You can see we have our RGB, red, green, and blue. What we want to do to make our first luminosity mask, let me delete that guy, is we're going to control or command click the RGB layer. And that's gonna highlight, by default, the brights. And then we're gonna come down here while the selection's made with the marching ants and click this new mask, or new layer, sorry, button right down here. Now you'll see we have a new layer called Alpha One. I'm gonna deselect these ants so that we can see everything. You'll see that we have a luminosity mask targeting the brights. So, brief, very quick, very quick, uh, overview of what masking is. Anything that's dark does not come through. Anything that's light does come through. Anything that's in the grays or any, anywhere in between, you can think of it as an opacity from zero being black to 100% being white. So you can see our brights are very white in this image. The water, the sun, some of the sky, some of the grass. That's because this is a brights luminosity mask. So now we're gonna click on the alpha one. We're gonna highlight those again. So we're gonna command or control click that mask to re-highlight our selection. And now we're gonna hold command option shift on a Mac and control alt shift on a PC. I need to learn my PC stuff for you PC folks. So you'll see this, we get this X mark over our mouse and we're gonna click alpha one again, and then we're gonna click the new mask. And now you'll see, if I deselect, our mask has become more targeted on the brights. So we're gonna do this again, command click the mask to select the selection, then command option shift, click the mask again to narrow that selection down. And now you'll see we have an even more targeted brights. So now look at our three brights masks. You can see from the most targeted, the most restricted brights mask up to just the most open brights mask that's letting all the other brights in. So you can see we're getting more targeted. So that's how we make our brights. Before we go on to our darks, let's rename these B1, B for brights, B2, and B3. All right, so let's get on to our darks mask. We're gonna start the same way. We're gonna click our RGB to get back to our image. And we're gonna command click the RGB to get our selection. Now remember, this is a bright selection. So we're gonna go up to select inverse here. Now we're selecting the inverse. We create a new layer 
And voila, we have our first uh, dark mask. We're gonna name this one D1, like the college athletics. All right, this is our most welcoming or our least restrictive darks mask. Now to get the more restricted ones, we're gonna do what we did with the brights. Pretty simple here, command click the mask to get our selection, then command alt, or sorry, command option shift, click the mask again, and then create a new mask. Now you can see here, we're getting more restricted. Let's do it again. Since I already have it selected, I just need to do command uh, option shift, click, and create our mask. All right, I'm gonna deselect everything. Now you can see our darks mask is getting more and more restricted to the very darkest of the darks. And you can keep doing this to get more and more restricted until you barely are selecting anything. All right, guys, we got our brights. We've got our darks. So now we want to do our midtones. This one's a little bit more involved, but I trust that we can all get through it together. So we're gonna go up to the top, RGB again. This time, we're not gonna command click it. We're gonna command A it to select everything. Awesome, so now we have everything selected. Now we're gonna go to our brights one and we're gonna subtract the brights mask. So we're gonna do command option or control alt on a PC and we're gonna click that brights one. That's subtracting the brights from our everything selection. Now we're gonna go to the darks one and do the same thing. Command option to subtract the darks. You'll see this warning sign pops up. It's less than 50%. That's okay. We're gonna hit okay and move on anyways. Now we're gonna hit this new mask button down here and you'll see we have our first midtones. Same thing, let's get midtones too. We're gonna command A the whole image and we're gonna subtract our brights too. Command option. Then we're gonna subtract our darks to command option. And then we're gonna create our new mask. And you'll see here, now we have midtone mask two. And you do the same thing with midtones mask three using brights three and darks three. So it makes sense. We're taking everything that we're selecting, everything, and we're subtracting our brights and we're subtracting our darks, left with our midtone mask. After we do all this, we're gonna have an B1 through three, D1 through D3, and then M1 through M3, but for the sake of saving time, I'm not gonna continue making these midtone masks because it is the same process and I don't wanna bore everybody. All right, so you saw how long that took to get all of our masks. If you wanna use these, each time you start changing the image and the more layers you get built on, the more your image morphs and the dynamic range changes uh, and your histogram changes. So you're gonna have to remake these masks or remake the mask that you want each step along the way and that gets very cumbersome as you saw. So there's ways around this. There's a free plugin called the Easy Panel. You can see that right here, EP. This is made by Jimmy McIntyre. He made these really awesome uh, plugins for Photoshop that run on some uh, pretty advanced code in the background to kind of do all these tasks automatically, some like macros. So the Easy Panel, go online, Google Easy Panel. It'll take you to a link where you can download it. You just have to put in your email address and then Jimmy McIntyre's site will send you an email with a link to download this Easy Panel. It's very easy, hence the name, to download. So now if we click on Easy Panel, you'll see here that we have our brights masks, dark masks, and midtone masks. So we can click, let's just say we wanna do brights. You click the brights button and it generates a folder called masks on the brights button that has all the brights masks from one to six, just like we did. You can see here, if I option click these masks, you'll see here we have our different bright, brights masks and they get more restricted just like we made. And you do the same thing with darks. You click that, it'll make a folder with all six dark masks and then midtones, it'll make a folder with midtone masks. So it's really quick and it's free. If you wanna get the more advanced version that has a lot of other features, it's the Raya Pro. That's also from Jimmy McIntyre. This is what I use here. And there's a ton of different sub programs or sub plugins. And then the Instamask has all the luminosities, one through six, dark and bright, and then one through four in midtones. And you can also do color masking. That is a quick overview of luminosity masks, how to make them manually in Photoshop so that we can reference back to this video in the future when we start using luminosity masks. I highly recommend you download at least the easy panel from Jimmy McIntyre. It's free and it makes all your masks automatically. And then I also recommend if you wanna get more serious to get a purchased plugin, uh, something like Raya Pro. There are other ones out there. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for this episode of Quick Stop Photoshop. Thank you for checking in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. 
Give me a like if you're feeling generous. Have a great week or weekend whenever you're watching this video. I'll see you guys next time.